welcome to another episode of Daily Hope. Today we are in Matthew chapter uh, 13, and thank you guys so much for your, your patience. Daily Hope is back, and I'm really excited to jump right into it. I've, I've, I've got so many of your messages and your comments saying that you guys missed Daily Hope, and thank you guys so much for the encouragement while we took this short break. But we are back, and today we are in Matthew chapter 13, and hopefully you guys have been reading Matthew. I, I, I love the gospel of Matthew, and this week we'll talk a little bit more about the context of Matthew, but I really want to talk about this parable that Jesus talk, that Jesus uh, says in, in this chapter. But before we get started, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time we post a video. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. How great it is to come together to hear your word and to learn from your word. And as we learn your word, we learn who you are, God. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. So Matthew chapter 13, we'll start with verse 3. Then he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went out to sow. And so he gives... Uh, he gives this picture of, of a sower who, when we, when we understand this parable, the sower is God the Father, and he's sowing his word everywhere, and, and, and he's, he's looking for a return. And, and, and Jesus goes through some of the responses that happen from people who hear his word. Some people hear the word, and, and, and there's no death, so it doesn't last. Some of them, they're choked by the cares of the world. But other people, like me and you, the word produces some really great uh, roots that, that grow deep, and we grow deeper in our relationship with God through the word. But today, I don't want to spend too much on the parable. I want to talk about what he says after the parable. In verse 10, he says, And the disciples came to him, came and said to him, why do you speak to them in parables? Jesus, why are you speaking in parables? Why aren't you just saying things plainly? Or why do things have to, um, why, you know, you know, it's, um, how do I say it? You know, why don't you talk like the Pharisees talk? Or why don't you talk like the Sadducees talk or the lawyers of that time? Um, in verse 11, he answered and said to them, because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it has not been given. For whoever has, to him more will be given, and he, and he will have abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from, from him. Verse 13, here it is. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. And in them the prophecy of Isaiah uh, is fulfilled. And so Jesus gives, and then he, he, he quotes, um, he quotes Isaiah, and then he talks about the parable means. But here's what I want to say to you. Jesus spoke parables, and in order, and here's the thing, it, it's not, um, the parables weren't hard to understand. People just didn't want to spend, take the time to want to understand it. Does that make sense? People kind of just wanted wanted them to say plainly to them. And, and, and right now I'm just thinking about the Sadducees and Pharisees who had the eloquent of speech. They had the abundance of words in their prayers, yet there was no depth to what they said. Their, everything they said was very shallow. The way Jesus says it, Jesus says that, that, that they would put a yoke on people uh, and, and they, would, they were like hard taskmasters that, and, and they would put expectations on people that, that they wouldn't even follow themselves. And, 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 here, and, and here's what I felt the Holy Spirit saying today as, as I was reading this, is that it takes humility to understand these parables. See, he, he, Jesus doesn't use a parable, in, in this parable of understanding, listen to me, he's, he's giving a parable about receiving the word of God. Something that many people in that time, especially religious leaders, were not accepting, were not receiving. They were not receiving the word of God. And Jesus is relating the word of God in this parable. In this parable, he's using farming terms. He's he's using reaping and sowing. He's using uh, terms that, that everyone would understand, everyone would know if they chose to, if, if, if they would humble themselves. But the Sadducees and Pharisees, they couldn't understand it. They couldn't. Why? I think it's because of their pride. I think it's because they don't want to spend the time to say, Jesus, what did you mean by this? Or, or, or they don't want to spend time saying, you know what, what is, what is this principle of reaping and sowing that has to do with the kingdom of God? We are called to study the Bible 
and, and understand that Jesus spoke in a way to be understood. And if it was hard to understand, it's because of people's pride or simply because people just didn't want to, um, how do I say, people didn't want to um, dig deep enough, amen? They, they, they don't want to invest in their relationship with God. And, and I think that's true for, for a lot of us today. Because here's the thing. When, when, I, when I first came, when I first became a Christian 12 years ago, I didn't understand everything perfectly. I didn't even, I, I still don't understand everything perfectly right now. I'm still on, in my journey. When I read the Bible, I'm still learning. When I read the Bible, I'm still learning who he is. And, and even the things that I do know, when I read about them, they are ingrained deeper in my spirit, deeper in my soul, in my understanding of who He is. Why? Because I don't pretend to know everything. And I really don't. I, I, don't, I don't believe I know everything. I know I'm never going to know everything like God knows everything. But I, myself, am, am, am on this journey through, through my studies, through Daily Hope, through coming to church, through listening to our pastors. I'm still seeking. I'm, I, I'm still drawing near to Him to learn more about him amen and some people when they don't understand something they 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 shy away from it they walk away from it they they say oh this is too hard to understand instead of asking questions or 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 reading the context of the bible amen but we're called to to dig deep and understand the bible um we're, we're called to what jesus said he says um it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. There are mysteries in the kingdom of heaven, but they're not mysteries that aren't solved. They're mysteries for us to solve. I'll, I'll say it this way. The Lord Jesus hide, hides things from us, not because he doesn't want us to find it, but, he, but because you, he wants us to seek him and find the truth, find revelation in him. Amen. You know, it's, it's not, you know, there's a reason why, you know, you might pray for something, it might not happen right away. Well, if it doesn't happen right away, are you going to turn away from God and, and go try to make it happen on your own? Or will you stay faithful in prayer? Will you stay faithful in fasting? Will you stay faithful in almsgiving, the Bible says? Stay faithful and, and show the Lord your faithfulness by even if every prayer isn't answered, it doesn't matter because you don't, you don't seek God to get prayers answered. You seek God because He's worthy of your attention. He's worthy of, of your affections, amen? Answering prayers is just who He is, amen? But we don't seek Him for answers to prayer. We seek Him for Him, amen? And so enjoy this chapter, guys, and let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for speaking to us today, God. Help us to seek you for who you are, not to seek answers, but to seek your revelation. We want to know you more. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Wow, it is warm in here. Um, please make sure you take um, some time to check out our links in our description box. There's one to give. There's another one um, to download our reading plan. Also, please, 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 I, I know you missed commenting on the video, so put your comments of what you got out of this chapter. And last, at Hope Community, people are our hearts. Generosity is our opportunity. Excellence is our spirit. Smiling is our favorite. And Jesus is our Lord, we'll see you tomorrow for Matthew chapter 14.